Shalimar perfume was created in 1921 by Jacques Guerlain, and um, it quickly gained a bad girl reputation when it became popular among flappers. Um, it is a sophisticated fragrance with uh, scent notes of bergamot, lemon, jasmine, rose, patchouli, frankincense, sandalwood, musk, ambergris, leather, and vanilla. And it's one of Guerlain's most popular fragrances. In fact, in, um, in 2017, it was the second most popular, selling 108 bottles an hour. And it was my mother's favorite perfume. Shalimar, along with the scent of Sebastian Hairspray and Mary Kay lipstick and her ever-present cigarettes, which she didn't smoke so much as burn as the worst kind of incense, all of them mixed together to become her unique fragrance. Something that was uniquely her. The smell center of our brains is linked to memory and to our emotions. Fragrances of all types have the ability to solidify a new memory or to recall an old one, which is why when, when my mother died and I found a bottle of half-used Shalimar on her bathroom counter, I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. To me, it smells like her hugs. It smells like being tucked in at night, safe and secure. And I wear it when I preach. It reminds me that I was well loved and it makes me feel brave. Even though what smelled so elegant and fine on her makes me smell like a lemon meringue pie. Still, love and bravery are good places to preach from. Good things to remember. It is a good legacy. Now I think if there was if the Bible had a perfume, if God had a perfume, I like to think it would be the smell of incense. Um, and Exodus 30 uh, tells us that there was a special incense that was burned in the temple. And it was to be burned twice a day as, um, as an offering to God, thanking him for delivering Israel from slavery in Egypt. In fact, the spices used to, to, burn, to make the incense, was um, they were brought out of Egypt. And I wonder, as the incense was lit there in the tabernacle, later in the temple, as the, as the scent rose up and filled the temple, I, I wonder if there were sweet memories attached to that Egyptian perfume. Now in the New Testament, there's a, there's a different kind of perfume that's mentioned. Um, Paul talks about it. He says in 2 Corinthians, that uh, Christ's example of love and sacrifice, it, it smells like life to some and death to others. And I wonder, I wonder how that perfume, which should smell like deliverance, I wonder how it can be so confusing to smell like life to one and death to another. But it is the fragrance of the cross. And there at the cross, those two scents are, are easy to confuse. The smell of the cross, the aroma of Christ there, well, that is, that is the smell of, of anger and anguish, of, of hyssop and hatred, of blood and body odor, of vinegar and vengeance and victory. Love and sacrifice were, were Christ's signature scent. And I think it should be the scent of his children.